Hello and welcome to the fourth and final part of our tutorial exercise on nanotechnology using sets and dictionaries. Here's what we're trying to accomplish. All along we've been running with input from standard in and we want that to continue to work so that our program can be used in a pipeline. However, if somebody gives us the name of the atom and then a bunch of file names, we want to read all the data from those files, merge them, and then look things up. This is what makes us a well-behaved Unix command line program. So let's switch over here. We were looking at produce.py. We're going to call the final program, um, I don't know, final.py. Now, what do we need to do? Well, we are going to need to import the system library because we'll need sys.argv to get file names and we'll need sys.stud in case we don't have any. We are going to say from nano import read molecules because we need to be able to read in molecules and if we take a look at our other Python programs, we've got merge and produce. So let's take a look at merge.py. Good, we've got a merge function. Ooh, whoops, all these tests down the bottom. They'll always be executed when we import this, so we want to use the same trick we used in the previous episode, which is if our name is main, then we are the main program, so let's run all of these tests. Good. So we can now safely import merge from merge from merge, that means from merge.py, import merge, that's the merge function. And if we take a look at produce, we want to import can produce, and yes, we need to say if I'm the main program, sorry, close the quote, then do all of this stuff. So from produce, import can produce. Again, I can use any Python file as both a program or a library, but I'd better guard the main body. So let's do that right now. If my name is main, then what do I want to do? I want to get all of the data, get all of the data, and then I want to say um, makeable is can produce of atom name and data and print uh, for m in makeable print m. Okay, eventually I need to wind up with a dictionary called data and I need to wind up with an atom name. Now I could say that atom name is sys.argv of 1. I then had better say that something like assert len sys.argv is greater than or equal to 2 um, usage final.py atom files. Now uh, file names is sys.argv from 2 to the end. If I don't have any file names at all this will be an empty list because Python's okay having slice subscripts that are out of range. It won't let you get single elements that are out of range but it'll allow you to do slicing if all I've got is the atom name, then sys.argv from 2 to the end will be an empty list. So now I can say something like data is initially an empty dictionary and for file name in file names, uh, reader is open file name in read mode, uh, more data is merge of existing data and more data is read molecules from the reader, reader.close, and then data is merge existing data with more data. Okay, that's handling the case of multiple file names. If I don't have any file names, hmm. Okay, this is getting complicated. Right away I'm looking at this and I'm starting to lose track of where I am. So what I'm going to do is say data is get data from file names. Now my main program is this. Get the atom name, get the file names, get all the data from the file, find out what I can produce, and then print out the list of makeable things. And what I need to do now is define get data of file names. And I want to say if len of file names is zero, then uh, standard input, else 
do this and return data. And those lines that I just pasted in were what I started writing. And I'm going to change this to be for f and file names because having two variables, file name and file names, that only differ in one character at the end is just asking for trouble. At some point I'm going to mistype something. And I'm only using f here and on the immediately following line, so I feel I'm morally justified with a single variable name. So if I don't have any files, then data is read molecules from sys.studin, which is what I've been doing all along. Otherwise, for each file, open it, get the data from that particular file, close the file, and then merge what I've got with what I just read. And this is going to construct a new dictionary and assign it back over data. So now I've got a function. Now I've got a readable main program. Let's see if I can get them on a single screen. Pretty close. Let's switch back to our terminal and say Python final dot pi, I want chlorine, I'm reading from molecules dot mol, sodium chloride and chlorine. Okay, I'm happy with that. Now what if I actually just read from molecules dot mol as a file name given on the command line? This is the new functionality I've added. It says local d variable data referenced before assignment on line 16. So let's go to line 16. Data is merge of data right. I need to say data is initially empty because I'm going to keep merging things into it. I hadn't initialized the variable, so let's try this again. And now I get sodium chloride and chlorine again. All right, this is reassuring, because now I know from this error that I'm actually getting into my function, and I'm getting the same result I get when I read from standard input. Let me write one more test to make sure that the merge is happening properly. Let's go more.mol. I'll get rid of the comment lines, and I will say something like potassium chloride is KCl. So now if I run with these two files I should get sodium chloride, potassium chloride, and chlorine. Good. It now looks like I am reading from my two files. I am merging. Uh, the output's not in alphabetical order which will make it hard to test. So what I really want to do say makeable is that and I'm going to say makeable is list of makeable. I'm going to take the set and I'm going to create a list from it and assign it back to makeable and then I'm going to say makeable let's sort you in alphabetical order. That's only a two-line change. When I rerun this program chlorine, potassium chloride, sodium chloride looks like I'm getting the right answer. Again more testing can be done but this seems to be working.